Okay, everybody, this is Critter Cleaner's new addition. I know it looks a little rough on the outside. I can't get it wrapped until the uh, August 20th. Um, but we have worked, I would say, the last five days on the hottest days of the year to redo the whole inside. And we are ready. Tomorrow will be our first day on the road. It does have a generator, so it's a little loud. Um, I don't know, maybe later on down the line we'll get a quieter one. But this is the back. This is what we had to do today. And that has my water tank in it, my shop back, and all of my plumbing. Um, storage is back behind the water tank. We're gonna mount my dryers when we get those in the mail in the next couple of days back here. So that'll help limit the noise on the inside from the dryers. But this is it. We've got a lot of storage in this. More storage in this than I have in my bus. Um, we've got the cabinet up there. We've got a cabinet there. Drawers, drawers. More cabinet. This has all kinds of little trays inside. We have all of our storage on the wall. Our grooming table and stool. This is our vacuum. And we'll probably bring the dryers out this way over here too. And then we have our tub and all of our shampoos, our, dry, our uh, air conditioner, which is awesome. This thing blows unbelievably. It will freeze you out in here. So no more being shut down because the AC and the bus broke. Um, got a little clock up there. I need to hem these curtains. They're a little long, but they'll do for now. We do have a uh, propane heater, although I don't think I'll use that. I think I'll just use a little portable heater, like the ones that I use in my house. And we've got our trim work up there, our lights. We had to redo the whole ceiling in here because it had some little holes in it and had rotted out the whole inside. The whole thing was a moldy, mildewed mess and I probably went through maybe five gallons of bleach and four cans of scrubby bubbles. We scrubbed every inch of this thing down uh, from the back side to the front side to make sure that there was no more mold in here, no more mildew. Um, we took the cabinets out, made sure we cleaned back behind there. Uh, everything was sterilized and scrubbed down. Um, if any of you guys know me on a personal level, you'll know that not only am I allergic to dogs after 30 years of grooming, I'm allergic to mold and mildew. So the first few days cleaning this thing out played hell on my sinuses. But we finally got it. I've not seemed to have any problems being in here today, so I'm pretty sure that we managed to get all the mold and mildew out of here. But um, we still have a bunch of little bitty things to do, uh, like running the hoses for the super blowers and hemming the curtains. Um, I've got pictures on order to hang up on the walls and make it look nice and neat. Um, and we've got our trash cans and our broom. Uh, the floor I would have liked to have redone. It's got some marks on there, some wear and tear, but it's solid, so we didn't worry about it right now. We've got this counter here that we can room onto. They've got the little, little hooks so that you can noose the dogs up. Um, of course, I'll have to move all my electrical cords and uh, whatnot. But anyway, yeah, so tomorrow is our first day on the road with this thing. Um, we're going to be doing local. I had only planned to do local but because we missed three days last week with our bus being down because of the AC being broke. Um, I am actually picking up a Wednesday 
in Williamsburg with this thing. So hopefully everything will go really nice and smooth and no issues. We got the brakes done on the van. Um, Kevin just has to take this thing out for a ride tonight to get everything adjusted, I guess. Um, make sure all the lights are working and, and whatnot. But yeah, we're, this is great.